Uh, don't worry, Mike's and Sam's terrible too. Arnold, where should you be going right now? The hash. The hash. And then you just stand there, or do you get to go play football and stop other boys from catching the ball? Let's go stop. Is there another boy around you that you could maybe prevent from getting the football? Yeah, yeah. So go to him. Make sense? We painted a green circle out there for you to go to. He's right there in the green circle. You good? Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Sam. Parker? Parker, you didn't play football for a year. Where do you do here? <coughs> Parker? I break down. You, we don't break down. Why don't we break down, guys? That's what cars do. Sergio, did you like when your truck broke down? No, it sucked, huh? Okay, so Parker, don't break down. We're going to come to balance near the hash, and then what do we look for, Parker? Boys. Boys. Do you see any boys that you could go... We phrase this correctly. Stop from getting the ball. Yes, sir. Okay, then go stop him from getting the ball. You got lucky here because they chose the other boy to throw to, but they should have thrown it to your boy. Make sense? <laughs> so that's the worst play probably of the whole day. And then we'll go right here where this is literally the next play. So Coach Bales might have lost it on y'all. Or we ran a last one and you're like, oh, this one's cool. I don't just have to mess with the boy in front of me. I get to go two boys to the left and mess with him. And so this time we go a little harder. Good things happen because Laura's giving effort. He beats his guy. He beats another guy, gets his hand up, and then Rudder. Rudder, where do you align if there's no uh, two receivers out there? Did you do that? And then you're just hanging out where you're supposed to, and the ball comes to you. Literally because you did what you were supposed to, and Laura went hard. What? He went hard. You can say that. That was not even dirty. You can't even twist that one into being dirty. <laughs> The start of week two not only serves as the beginning of a new week, but also the start of a new phase of the game, the phase of full contact. With week one of camp now in the books, so is the acclimating period, a phase in period that limits the amount of contact and equipment used by players during the first five days of camp, as designated by the University Interscholastic League, the governing body of Texas high school sports. There's an old parable that describes the life cycle of athletes. Everyone gets on the same bus and rides, but where you get on and where you get off is different for each person. Some only ride for a short distance, while others may ride for a lifetime. But sooner or later, the bus stops for everyone. As newspaper clippings fade and stats and scores are lost to time, the significance of that old bus remains with those who dare to step on. It's the ride. As the Bulls enter week two of preseason camp, the ride is just beginning. It's time for the Bulls to hit, and to hit someone else too, namely the Mineral Wells Rams. The Bulls and the Rams know each other well. For the first time in three years, the two teams are not set to face off during the regular season, but could potentially meet again in the state playoffs. Throughout the last two years, both teams have split close wins each being decided by a single field goal. Last year, the Bulls kick went through the uprights as time expired, an upset victory for the team picked last in the region. The stakes are much lower this year, but that does not mean the matchup is any less important in the eyes of the coaches. Scrimmaging is so vital. It's vital, it's vital to all of us coaches. The same thing for the NFL. They do preseason games, we have scrimmages. So uh, what the scrimmages allow us to do is evaluate. It also gives the kids an opportunity to go against somebody totally different than, than our guys. Because in, in certain situations, we tell them we don't cut each other, we don't do certain things, to you, we don't take them to the ground. That when we play somebody else, now we're live and uh, now it's full takedown and tackle. And we haven't got to play football in you know, 300 and 40 some days so you, you finally get the opportunity to come back and, and uh, go against somebody totally different now we're gonna go back we're gonna watch film we're gonna evaluate we're gonna coach them up we're gonna tell them not to have their feelings hurt you know we love them but we're still gonna coach them and we're gonna correct the issues and correct the mistakes come on I love you, but you guys have got to set the tone. 
You guys have got to set the tone. You can't come out here like today's school because, hey, there's a lot of guys that are like today's school right now. You guys ain't getting in. Hey, we're all just standing around waiting on somebody else to take the lead. Let's freaking go. Somebody be a leader. You don't have to cuss. You don't have to cut, yeah, but you can raise your voice a little bit and you can say, let's go. You guys gotta take the horn. You gotta, you guys gotta be the bull and, and lower your horn and let's go. Everybody good? Yes, sir. Hey, sir. Oh, well, let's go. Everybody cool? Yes, sir. Hey, guys, we're standing right here. For a lot of these players, the start of football season means the end of their final high school summer is only days away. Away from the gridiron, it's important for these seniors to remember that they're not only football players, but kids too. Be smart. Hey, move your feet. Hey, wrap up, make great plays. Hey, have some energy. Let's have some freaking energy. You make a great play, you celebrate it. And let's get ready to play the next one. Everybody cool? Yes, sir. I'm proud of you guys. Let's get after their ass. Everybody good? Yes, sir. Let's go, family. Let's go. Family. Let's go. Family. Let's go. Combining the efforts of both the defense and the offense, the team manages to make a great first impression of the season, outscoring the Rams 2-1 to one during the scrimmage portion of the joint training. But untimely mistakes rear their head in the final live quarter. Y'all take a knee, let's go, get in here. Get in here, let's go. Hey guys, uh, first, first things first, there was a lot of really, really good things going on. 
when we got into the when we got into this, that part of it, the, the scrimmage part, the plays, 12, 10, all that, guys, you did a great job. You did a very, very good job. Great things that were happening going on, okay? But again, that part, hey, that's, that's part of, that's a scrimmage. That's part of a scrimmage, okay? No penalties were counted off, jumping off sides, all that stuff, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt you, okay? Then we got into, we got into that quarter Hey, where things things matter. Things are very very important. Things are very important. And and here's here's what's here's what's the biggest disappointment for me right now, guys. Hey, they can celebrate and all that stuff, guys. But I, hey, will we continue for another three quarters? Hey, we'll, we'll whoop their butt. We'll whoop their butt. But there's certain things that went on at the beginning of that thing that were that were snowballed on you. They just kept, they, and they, they kept getting worse. We had the ball and we were starting to drive. We started getting, we started doing things that are, that should not happen. We're selfish. We do things that are not right. We want to push after the play. We got a couple of guys that were ejected. Okay. We had a lineman that was ejected, offensive lineman. And then we got a running back that was ejected. Running back slash receiver. That is very, very important to our team. Two things that are for you, you hurt all of us. You hurt everybody. And it's bigger than just you. It's bigger than you. You represent everybody in this group. And I'll tell you another thing. You represent you. You represent everybody here. You represent us as coaches. You represent our wives. You represent our families. And you represent everybody in those stands. So when you do stupid stuff like that, it hurts. And I'll tell you another thing. I'm not going to watch it. I will play with a less talented person. Go back to that whole thing about starters. I will play with a less talented person and win and do it the right way than watch that. It won't be on this team. And if you don't like it, then that's fine. You can watch. We need guys on the bus running, not people dragging their feet. And when you play for yourself and you're selfish, you're dragging your feet and you're killing us. You're hurting us. Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I expect a lot more from us. We've treated you correctly. We've treated you right. We've treated you with your love, respect, dignity, all these things that we do, and you don't have the decency to treat it right back because you, you're selfish and you don't play for yourselves. You can't lose your mind and play for yourself. You can't lose your mind if later in life when things go bad and, and all of a sudden care only about yourself and just say, you know what? It's my kid. I really don't care. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it for me. I don't care about my kids. I don't care about my wife. I'm doing it for me. Same thing right here, guys. You got to do it for, you got to do it for each other. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Guys, now, a lot of great things. A lot of great things. You got after it. You played. Hey, your, your conditioning was pretty good. I was, I was happy to see that. Let's continue to keep striving and getting better, okay? I don't, want, I don't want that cloud to be over us. You did some really, really good things. Here's what I want you to do. Learn from them. Learn from them. I love you. I thank the world of you. I'm not mad at you. I'm just upset with what you did. We will coach it up and we will get better. Everybody cool? Hi, hey, everybody up right here. And you get, uh, you get 60 seconds with your primary coach. Here we go. Hey, Bulls on three. One, two, three. Bulls. Good. Give me your coach.